Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Why did I just do that YouTube channel? I don't know, but we're gonna go with it. I really liked it and it made me happy when I did that. So anyways, in today's video, we will be looking at my manga collection. Now, let me just throw this on out there. With as much collecting as I do, and I do a lot of mm, collecting, Mm, collecting you know i have a lot of final fantasy stuff I have a lot of ps4 games my switch games are growing my um nintendo 2ds 3ds games are growing uh, my anime fic collection is definitely growing it is not stopping whatsoever that train has has is basically going off the tracks at this point but with as much collecting as i do you would think you would think or at least i would think that I will collect more manga. But the truth is, I have a hard time buying manga. And I don't know why. Even if I buy it secondhand or even if I buy it brand new, I just have a very hard time buying manga. And I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I, I just have a very hard time buying manga. But I have a, a very easy time buying like regular books. And it's nothing like against manga because what's so funny is um i'm a manga binge reader right like i can binge read a whole series in about a week um i say for instance gantz is one of my favorite favorite mangas of all times i highly recommend gantz g-a-n-t-z to anybody who loves action horror violence basically it's a it's, Sinning, Sinning, Sinning. You guys, I cannot pronounce these names. I don't know why. Anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's a Sinning. I want. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Genre of a manga, and it's one of my favorites. I sound like a total noob, but I'm not a noob, okay? But it's one of my favorite mangas of all time, and I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to read that type of manga. Um, and it's also a little bit psychological too. Because it's dealing with like human existence and why are we here and what's our purpose and all this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm, I, I binge I binge that in like a week. Like it, it, I mean, it did not take me long to read the entire series. Mind you, I read it on my phone back when Mongo Rock, rest in peace, Mongo Rock. Okay, we're gonna pour out some hot chocolate for Mongo Rock. Okay, um, R.I.P. Bro, like <laughs> we miss you um but yeah like i binge read that in no time but and i love manga but i just have a hard time buying it for some reason but hopefully i'm gonna get over that pretty soon because i really do want to start you know buying more manga because i see so many people on tiktok and youtube and everywhere else talking about their manga collection and showing off their manga collection and i feel a little bit left out now so but i do some sort of kind of have good mangas here uh in here on this table uh to show you guys and if you guys would like to see the manga that i do have then keep on watching So to begin, we are going to start with the grandmama. I don't know where that came from. We're going to start with the manga series that I have the most of. And that is my Sailor Moon mangas. I have volumes 1, volumes 2, volume 3, volume 4, volume 5. I have this many volumes of Sailor Moon. And then I have volumes 6 and 7 of Sailor Moon. There you go. And then I have volume 12. Now, <laughs> funnily enough, I bought this volume off of Amazon like a while back because it was on sale. And it's so, oh, look at, look at, look at Cosmos. Look at, look at, look at, look at. But um, <laughs> I bought this on sale from Amazon like a while back. And the only reason why I got it is because of the girls on the front. Look at them. Don't they look so cute? But no, yeah. Um, That's the only reason <laughs> why I skipped the 12 and oh I just love the artwork in these also but anyways that's the only reason why I skipped all the way to 12 uh I usually am like a stickler for staying in order sometimes from what when it comes to manga but when I saw the girls on the front you know the royal family 
um why is it as too bright um the royal i like saying it the royal family of the moon kingdom um i most definitely had to get it so yeah that's the reason why i skipped but i usually don't do that that was the stack right here is all my sailor moon mangas and um i think i'm pretty much gonna finish this set by like the end of the year i have to i put that in my mind and i'm gonna do it i have to do it but you guys how could i forget i had more sailor moon manga okay so this one i got secondhand and i think this one is really cool um in case you guys didn't know like there have been like so many different variations of like the sailor moon mangas and obviously different translations at different times and blah 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 but um i thought this one was really really cool i got this one secondhand and this one is by chicks comics pocket edition it's just it's so weird um yeah this this is kind of like a weird weird ish manga um and i'm not sure about like the translation of this like like how accurate it is and stuff but um like you read it like you read like a regular book like you don't read it from what is it right to left like you do the other mangas wait wait yeah yeah i had to think about it for a moment i was like do you yeah the other ones you read like a traditional manga this one you read like a regular like american book and i got it because i had never seen a sailor moon manga that looked like this and it was on I, like i said i wanted to say it was on sale but no, I got her from a secondhand store. And I think she was like less than $5. So, yeah. And then next, I don't know how I could forget about these two. But I found these secondhand, which is, you know, really surprising. Um, I got the, the one shots. I call these one shots. They're short stories, so that's why I call them one shots. This one is adorable. Isn't it adorable? This one is sultry. Isn't it sultry? But yeah. I got these two Sailor Moon mangas and I have not read them like I'm really trying to hold off on like all the extra stuff um before I finish the like the main like the like the like the meat of it all right which is basically like the original one through <coughs> uh one through 16 of the manga Sailor Moon manga series so once I finish that then I read these so now that all my Sailor Moon manga is out of the way, we are going to get to other manga series that I love, some that I've read before in the past, a long time ago, um, that I'm starting to pick back up and collect now. And to start off, we're going to start off with a series that I actually really, really love. And I wish huh, I could find the third one. Um, are these different translations? Why do why does the spine look different anyways um that is magic night great earth volume one and volume two this is a series that i absolutely love um i have it on dvd as well like the old school dvd i really do wish like a lot of clamp properties would come you know would be not adapted but would be remade i would say um especially nowadays with like modern technology because if you know anything about clamp you know obviously they did card capture sakura and what was it uh subasa chronicles and they did x1999 which is another one of my favorites um that i really do want to start collecting and i also want to get the movie but anyways um uh, this is a very 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 great series um if you like I, it's just one two three volumes as far as i know but um if you really do want to get started reading magical girls like john the genre and if like say the moon <clears throat> which i highly recommend it's too long for you or it's just too much or whatever definitely check out magic knights rare earth it's only three and like you can get like the gist of the story and it's clamped so you know the artwork is going to be fire but yeah if you definitely want to get started with my Mag magical girls read these you will not regret it at all i'm telling you you won't regret it so next on my manga journey my manga recommendations my manga collection is a manga that i have finished i read it online like i said rest in peace manga rock you were you you were you were something while you were still here you, you were something you were legal but you were something uh <laughs> and this is a series that i recommend to anybody again let me not show it yet if you want to read something adult mature something that's like full of violence and something that's just like to me just amazing and hardcore and gritty and edgy 
definitely check out Hell's Paradise. Now, Hell's Paradise is the American title. Um, the real, uh, the Japanese title is called Jigo Koraku. I'll, I'll put, I'll put these, I'll put the name of this down below, but this is a fairly new series, honestly. Like, it's not really that old. I want to say it's about, like, two or three years old, and it's finished, um, because I just finished it, like, a couple of months ago, because I fell off the bandwagon reading, reading this manga and a lot of other mangas, but I finished it. The ending was, it was okay. Um, but this is a really, really good series. Um, it's very straightforward, very to the point. This is the main character, Gabi Maru. Rest, rest in peace, Gabi. He didn't die. He's not dead. But, um, yeah, this is a very, very good series. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Like, you see how much, like, action is going on? It's a lot going on in here. It, it really is. And it has, like, a whole roster of characters and when i say a whole roster i really do mean like a whole slew of characters that you can most definitely like love and appreciate besides the main character because i truly love the main character like look at him look at my boy gabi maru i mean he's engulfed in flames i mean he's cool you know he's like a cooler version of like naruto or something like that because he is a ninja so I highly recommend this. Like I said, if you guys want to read something that's, you know, more adult oriented, not like, you know, whatever, definitely check this out. Very, very good. And it's and Barnes and Noble because that's where I got this one from. So next on my list. Now, <clears throat> I read this manga. Um, I read this entire series when I was like a tween, right? Like I was like 12 and 13. And this is a series that I started reading um because this is what they had available at my local library um and it's always stuck with me and it is a romance and I'm usually like it's very hard for me to read like romantic things or whatever not that like I'm like against it or it's like ugh, or like cooties whatever but um it's just really hard for me to read this type of stuff for some reason without me thinking like it's kind of cheesy um I really like to read violence action oriented things so but you know i did like i said i read this when i was uh, like 12 13 and it's one of like those beginner this is this is marketed towards 12 and 13 year old girls like teenage girls so and that is mars now this is a very 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 old manga you may not be able to find this you may have to get it off ebay i only have one uh I really do want to collect the entire series because it's a really good series. Um, and it's, it's not cheesy, you know, but yeah. So this is the artwork on the front of it. Uh, the artwork on all the covers is like bomb. I, I, at least I think it looks cool. Um, that's one of the main characters. His name is Ray. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, not, not a lot is happening because like I said, this is like a romance novel. There is a lot of like dramatics in this, <laughs> a lot of stupidity also, but it's really good. Like, yeah, it's really good. Um, this is another like romance. I don't know why, but like a lot of like, now that I think about it, my local library carried like a lot of like romance and also like a lot of action, but like a lot of like teen, tween, like teeny bopper-ish manga um and I read this and I didn't really like this when I was younger and I still don't really too much like it now but I got it because these are very hard to come by in stores and I think these are most definitely out of print and that is Marmalade Boy and I have eight well three four seven and eight and as you guys can see it was really really cheap like 75 cents a dollar uh, what's this? A dollar and fifty, and then this one was two dollars. I don't know why it. I, I don't know. I don't know why different volumes are a different price or whatever. But yeah. So yeah, I have like four volumes of this, and I always thought like the premise of this was like really dumb. But like I said, I got it because these are mostly out of print. So you guys, that has been my manga collection. Um. If you guys like this video, if you guys see any of your favorites, um, if you guys have any recommendations, I believe me, I take my word, okay? I am always open 
to an not anime well yeah anime but specifically manga recommendations i love manga like i said i'm a binge reader i can read tons of manga in a day in one sitting and not be bored um oh here's a good recommendation for you guys one of my friends recommended this to me um this is like i said i like to read violent <laughs> the violence i like to read violent manga and one of the manga series that one of my facebook friends recommended to me was called noah of the blood sea it's not new but it's new to me and i highly recommend it um i'm reading it on the tachiyomi app because that's how i read a lot of my manga now since manga rock is dead and gone and deceased so that's why i'm reading it on i want to say i'm on chapter three and it is really really good it's it's okay it's like the promised neverland but on a boat and it's not involving just children it's involving adults um from all age ranges so you know if yeah that should tell you a lot about it but anyways like <laughs> but anyways if you guys like this video uh then definitely give us a thumbs up leave a comment let me know if you saw some of your favorites uh give me some of your recommendations for manga and just like you know leave a comment if you just want to say hey or hey this video sucks so uh i will see you guys in the next video which is hopefully coming soon and i'll talk to you guys later bye